Hey guys, Big Dog here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get the best performance out of your computer on Arma 3. So what you're going to want to do first is go to your editor. Go to Stratus, just continue. This is pretty simple. All you got to do is double click anywhere. Let's just do it over here for right now. Just don't change any of that. You can if you want. I'm just going to go marksman just for the heck of it. Just click OK. And then you just want to hit preview. Alright, this is the just the mission editor. You're free to roam without getting shot at or anything. That's why it's a good place to mess around with your settings. You want to get somewhere where you have a wide range of objects in your view. I'm going to move up to these sandbags right here. Alright. So what you're going to do first, you're going to escape. Good option video options and you're gonna want to choose a resolution the highest your computer can play without distorting the image any 1920 by 1200 looks the best on my computer so that's what I'm gonna go with and you have display modes if you want to play a windowed screen I know some people like to play windowed but you can either choose any of those you can change the size of your interface which is normal which makes it way bigger I'm fine with small your aspect ratio this just changes that and you definitely don't want that I think 16 by 10 looked the best on mine I'll show you 16 by 9 see how it makes my gun look skinny like that I don't really like that 16 by 10 looks the best on mine so here's a big key I'm gonna move a little bit so you can see when you go to your options video options and you get down here to visibility this is what's gonna eat up a lot of frames per second you're gonna to wanna to change this to something where you can see a good distance but without losing a lot of frames the further you change your view distance the more frames you'll lose and the only time you're ever going to need to see that far is if you're trying to snipe somebody from that far. But I don't think you're going to be sniping anybody from 3,700 meters. I'm going to run about 1,500 on mine. I'll go 1,300. That looks fine. Objects, that's just going to show how far your objects render in from. See those trees right around here? You're going to want to set that to probably about 1,000. But you don't want them to... See how they're disappearing now. Around a thousand is good. You can even go further. You can go all the way up to 1374, which is what it will go up to. Without losing many frames. Shadows, as you can see to my right, it's just going to change in the distance that you actually see shadows from. We've got about a hundred. Alright, rendering, this is where a bunch of your frames are either going to be gained or lost. You're going to want to change VSync, you're going to want to disable that unless you have a very good computer. It's a major difference in FPS, mine just dropped from 82 to 60 just by changing that to enabled. Uh, Anti-aliasing, you can see the trees right there in the middle of my screen change a little bit but it's not enough of a difference between 4 and 2x to really worry about and 2x gives you better frames changing to 4x makes my frames drop just by about 5 it's nothing major your PPPA um, the new thing is the SMAA but I think that FXAA still looks better so you can, I'll show you the difference. Here's FXAA standard, and here's SMAA standard. See how it's blurry on my screen now? I think 
FXAA would be the best, and then you can't really tell the difference between standard and high. Just, I go with standard just to increase my frames. You don't really need to worry about that. Um, post processes, you want to disable that also. That's another thing that make your frames jump or decrease by just changing it to normal. I don't really lose that many frames, but when you start going very high, I lost 30 frames by changing it to very high. I just disable it. Can't really tell the difference. HDR quality and anisotropic filtering. I change, I just leave those on standard. Can't really tell the difference. Don't lose any frames. And the PIP and dynamic lights, you really need to be switching between night and day to change the different or to see a difference in those. Let's go to quality. All this stuff is just gonna change the way your textures and your objects look on your screen. And by setting that on high, low, low, high, low, high, it gave me better frames. I'm getting 90 frames on this game right now on the editor which is pretty good and I get about 50 in game which is still pretty good on this so that's it for optimizing your video settings to get the best performance out of your computer thanks for watching hope you like and subscribe laying down one night I heard Papa tell Mama Good Papa tell Mama